Hi friends, Tracy Bish here, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. Welcome to day 12 of our 12 days of Christmas. I really hope that you're enjoying this series. I hope that you've got lots and lots of ideas to get you crafting just before Christmas starts. So this is day 12. This is a take on one of my Halloween boxes that I did for Halloween using the Tricks and Treats bundle. I really wanted to do a Christmas version and I think I did tell you when I was doing the Halloween one that I was going to do one for Christmas. So here it is. We're using that box die. We're also using the Berry Cute stamp set for our little um, bear and our sentiment. The Stylish Shape Dies Garden Green Ink. We have the Garden Green Ribbon from the Garden Green and Real Red Ribbon Combo. Stylish um, simply elegant twi tw twine it is sorry um, what else have we got Versamark ink silver embossing no gold embossing powder oh my goodness a walk to remember DSP and our cardstock is garden green basic white thick and some gold foil now I really want to quickly just talk about this beautiful paper this is a walk to rem Walk in the Forest DSP. You can find it in the mini catalogue. And this is actually a really special DSP. It's the Making a Difference DSP. So for every packet that's purchased here in Australia, $4.25 Stamping Up is going to support an organisation by giving $4.25 of that um, proceeds to a charity. Now each country or each market has a different charity so really really great you can find that on page five of the mini catalog so with our garden green cardstock we're just going to run the treat bag through twice that's all that it makes it makes the treat box or bag whichever you want to call it um, you just need two of those die cut we're also using the stylish shape dies with the banner and the circle and we have the basic white thick and the gold foil there that we're using. Alright, once we have those let's pop that box together. Actually no, let's do the DSP. And um, what I will say is I don't have the measurements right in front of me. That's a bit of a fail on my part. Sorry about that everyone. But you can find all the measurements for each project, including this one, over my blog. There's also a, a downloadable PDF for each project. So go over, print those out, download them and print them out and have them for your reference. And I really hope that you have enjoyed the 12 Days of Christmas. I hope that you will maybe replicate some of our projects. And yeah, I really just hope that you've enjoyed them. So we're going to run tear and tape over the two tabs here. These um, two tabs line up, so we're just going to line it up and then we can pop the other side down. So that is how easy that, um, that bag goes together. Super easy, yeah? And then we're going to add some tear and tape to one of um, these tabs, the larger tabs, and then tear and tape on the two smaller ones. Now what I find is really good, find your front then you are going to stick um, the back side down first. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I'm doing something different. Yeah, I think I'm doing something different. Anyway, two tabs down, the large tab, and then you've got your big tab. Now, you la you, one that you're sticking down last <clears throat> is actually the front of your box. So this just makes the front of your box look seamless when you're using that tab down first. We're also going to add our four bits of DSP. You could leave the sides completely free. I don't know, I like that you know all four sides go together and it matches in quite well. So, but up, completely up to you. I'm also going to bring in my hole punch and just punch a hole on each side. We're going to use that garden green ribbon. So I'm just popping it through and I'm going to tie a knot on each side. Make sure that you, you know, cut off that little bit of extra. It just stops the bag looking bulky on the inside as well. Once we have our ribbon ready to go, there we go, we can start decorating. So with our sentiment piece, we're going to stamp the Merry Christmas with Versamark ink. We're also going to heat emboss that sentiment. <clears throat> because the sentiment is one long stamp, I've just stamped the Merry, like inked the Merry up and 
heat embossed that piece. Then I'm going to clean my stamp really, really well, make sure it's nice and dry. Then I'm just going to ink up the Christmas part of that stamp. You could also um, mask off. Because it's photopolymer, we can see exactly where we're inking up. So it's really easy to do. I'm going to stamp the, Chris the Christmas down and add our gold, um, gold embossing powder. Sorry, my mind went blank then. And just to heat it with the heat tool. We're also going to stamp the polar bear in the garden green. So I've kept it really quite low in supplies. You could certainly just use what you have in your stash or um, change around to what you do have. And I'm just going to quickly fussy cut this little baby polar bear. Isn't he gorgeous? Now for the little trees in our sentiment, I've actually just used that DSP. There's lots and lots of trees in there and I'm just going to fussy cut what's left over. Um, you can hide some areas if, you know, it's sort of chopped off on one side of the tree. Hide it behind something. So use what you have. And this is a great way of, you know, not having multiple sets. A lot of our stamping out paper or DSP, you can use this way to decorate your cards or projects. So we're just going to add a mini glue dot to each of those little fussy cut um, trees. And I love that there's little different colours that sort of match in with our sentiment and um, our focal piece. So I'm just going to add them down behind the little polar bear, the baby polar bear. And we're also going to add a little bit of that gold twine to the back of there. So some dimensionals down. We can add that to our banner. I'm going to add the gold twine circle, like just wrap it around my fingers and we can secure that behind the back of um, that banner. And I'm just going to use some tear and tape or you can add it to the gold foil circle. Because we are um, pretty much covering up that center piece with our banner, I've just laid a bit of tear and tape over the top Add, uh, added some dimensionals down over the top and then popped him up so you can still see quite a bit there and of course the little polar bear needs a little bow and we're just going to use some of that gold twine and we'll pop that down with a mini glue dot you can just roll that mini glue dot so it's a little bit smaller and then of course we've got to pop up our sentiment focal piece onto our bag now i've just used some tissue paper to pop inside um, this is quite a, a good size bag that you could use. And I've used those festive pearls, silk, uh, gold embellishments as well. Now, if you're in need of any of the supplies that I've used on today's card or any project, excuse me, if you need any of the supplies I've used on today's project, you can purchase them in my online store. <clears throat> there is a link to that online store in the description of this video. I would love it because I could spoil you as my customer. Um, and... I have a handmade card as well as a bundle tutorial that I will give out to all my customers this month. Um, if you have enjoyed the 12 days of Christmas, I would really love it if you gave me a thumbs up, left me a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. My voice is about ready to go. That's quite a few videos that I've had to um, voice over in a short period of time. So thank you so much for joining me for the 12 days of Christmas. I maybe will do one again next year. We never know. Alright everyone, enjoy your day. Bye bye.